this film means a lot because uh, I can see myself on screen and and uh, and see what I've done through all these years. And I think it's so nice that it is now put on festivals thanks to the quality of the film that Tom made. Or sometimes I had to do my best to uh, uh, create the right answers. But I didn't feel Tom when he was filming me because it was a sort of natural process. And uh, yeah, it was uh, through my own garden, so I feel very relaxed. And also visiting uh, places where I uh, have done gardens was very nice to come with him. And uh, what I said, it's so nice when you see it all back and together as a documentary. Now, I learned uh, from Tom the patience you must have as a director filmer to get this all together because I know how many days and how many months uh, we have, I wouldn't say years, but they have followed me over three years almost and that, yeah, that is a sort of sacrifice. You must have patience like I have with garden making. Yeah, that was, uh, it's a time lapse sequence. So I, just knowing that Pete's work is all about how it changes over the seasons. Um, I had this idea that if I could set up time-lapse cameras in as many gardens of his as I, as I could manage, um, that that would be one way to show what happens over the change of seasons. Um, and they worked off and on, so it became this sort of task to try and pull something out of that. And, um, but by the end, I was able to use just a few photographs process them slightly differently than instead of just thousands of photographs one after the other um, but it ended up I think adding something nice to the film.